the last section of this chapter focuses on analytical reports and analytical reports involve collecting and analyzing data evaluating the results drawing conclusions and then making recommendations when the reader has confidence in the writer the analytical reports can be organized directly with the conclusions and the recommendations at the beginning front-loading works when it's a routine topic or the reader is supported and then you would use the indirect strategy when you lead the reader through the process of discovering the solution. So you would present the conclusions and recommendations last. Justification reports, recommendation reports, or internal proposals, these are reports that are justified or recommend action, such as buying equipment, changing a procedure, filling a position, consolidating departments, or investing funds. Model document 9.7 provides a sample justification recommendation report in APA style. Here you can see that it, in the first paragraph it introduces the purpose of the report. It's going to tell the method of data collection and previews organization about what this is on. It avoids revealing the recommendation immediately, uses the heading, see the headings that combine function and description. You have your bullets here. It documents the data sources for credibility and we said this was in APA style. So this is an example of this model document and I'm going to show you the next page of it. So in the previous page we saw the alternative one. Here's alternative two. You can see that it has the cost here and it's easy to compare the cost for each alternative. And then it arranges the alternatives so that the most effective is last. And then in the end, it summarizes the findings and ends with a specific recommendation. It reveals this recommendation only after discussing the alternatives. Here is the APA style, your references. You have a magazine, a website article, a journal article, the book, a book, and a newspaper article. And make sure that you let your audience and your topic determine if you're going to use the direct or indirect. It's going to depend on that. For non-sensitive topics and recommendations that will be agreeable to readers, you can organize your information directly. You can identify the problem, announce the recommendation, solution, or action. Remember concisely with action verbs. Explain more fully the benefits of the recommendation. Include a discussion of pros, cons, and costs. And then conclude with a summary specifying the recommendation and necessary action. If it is a touchy subject and you think you're going to face opposition, you probably want to use the indirect strategy. So you're going to go through your options, provide your uh, examples, statistics, quotes to help lend credibility to the seriousness of the problem, discuss alternative solutions, begin with the least likely to succeed, present the most promising alternative, your recommendation lasts, Show how the advantages of your recommendation outweigh its disadvantages. Summarize your recommendation. If appropriate, you would specify the action it requires. And then ask for authorization to proceed if necessary. Feasibility reports examine the practicality and advisability of 
following a course of action. So they answer, will this proposal, will this plan or proposal work? These are typically internal reports written to advise on matters such as um, offering a wellness program to employees or hiring an outside firm to handle a company's accounting or social media preference. So your role here is usually not to persuade the reader, but your role is to present information objectively. So in writing feasibility reports, you want to consider these suggestions, announce the decision immediately, then provide a description of the background and problem necessitating the proposal, discuss the benefits of the proposal, describe the problems that may result, calculate the costs associated with the proposal, show the time frame necessary, for implementing the proposal and conclude with an action request if appropriate. So let's take a look at a sample feasibility report. You can see in the feasibility report explains the reason for the report and outlines its organization and reveals the decision immediately. Next gives a background and describes the problem then evaluates positive and negative aspect, aspects of the proposal objectively, presents cost and schedule, omits unnecessary summary, and then concludes with action request. Yardstick reports examine problems with two or more solutions to determine the best solution the writer establishes criteria by which to compare the options. So yardstick is like you're measuring the two um, to see which one is better. And it's effective for companies that must establish specifications for equipment purchases and then compare each manufacturer's product with the established specs or when exact specifications cannot be established. We're gonna take a look at a model document of a yardstick report, but when you're doing these, you wanna begin by describing the problem or need, explain the solutions, establish criteria for comparing the options, explain how the criteria was selected or developed, then you're gonna discuss and evaluate each option in terms of the criteria, and then finally draw conclusions and make recommendations. The real advantage to yardstick reports is that the available options can be measured consistently using the same criteria. Here is a yardstick report, and you can see it was initial, so it was given out. You have your purpose, your background, and then your solution and alternative, alternative. And then tells how the criteria were selected. So it's going to create criteria for use as yardstick in evaluating your alternatives. So now let's take a look at, all right, so here's our table. And here is the data comparing the three different services, the three different agencies. And then it highlights the similarities and differences. And then it does not repeat obvious data from table because that table is already there. And then it discusses objectively how each agency meets criteria and it selects most important data from the table to discuss. And then here, down here is the conclusion of recommendations. And it gives reasons for making the recommendation and there's the choice to the final alternative. So you can see this is quite a lengthy, detailed report when you're comparing data um, using this yardstick report.